Hello and welcome to the Wilcom video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today we're going to give you some insights on how to use the mirror merge feature inside the Embroidery Studio E4 program. Um, I have a design on the screen here and I have uh, quite a bit of railroad tiles that I, that I need to put down. But I'm only going to do, I'm only going to digitize one which I already have and I'm going to use this and I'm going to uh, duplicate this around without me having to digitize all of the other uh, railroad ties. The way that I'm going to do that is with the mirror merge feature inside your program. If you don't see the mirror merge feature on your screen or if there's any other icon uh, that you're looking for on your screen and you can't see it, um, I want you to use your cursor. I'm going to navigate up to the upper right corner here and I'm going to right click on avoided space any selections here that are not checked are not displayed on the screen and what I'm looking for here is my mirror merge tool as I go all the way down and I choose my and here I have the mirror merge tools I'm going to put a check to the left over here and that uh, is going to appear on my screen now uh, when I when I when I do go in and I actually choose the objects on the screen uh, that I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to go in, and this is the tool here that I'm looking to check. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to draw a box around just those objects there on the screen. And as you can see here, this is the wreath effect. With the wreath effect, um, I can go in as soon as I left click on this. What they've done in E4, they've kind of divided the mirror merge uh, settings and the uh, mirror merge tools. So if you click on your object here for the wreath and you don't see this on the bottom of the screen, look up top because it may be up top somewhere. Okay. Again, in E4, they've divided the mirror merge settings and the mirror merge tools. Okay. What I'm going to do here, I think I counted about uh, 36 of these railroad ties. I'm going to go here to the mirror merge settings. I'm going to type in 36 and I'm going to press enter. <clears throat> That's going to give me the option now to go in and line this up the best I can. As I go to the middle of this, I'm going to slide this over because I'm going to make sure that I got enough space and that I'm not touching any, bo any boundaries or any borders there. And I make it making sure that I get everything in the correct order. And at the right time here, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna lay this down. Make sure that everything is lined up correctly here. And once I get that position in place. I'm just going to left click my mouse button. All of the ties will lay down like this. All I'm going to need to do now is, is click this little stitch and delete it. Okay. And what I did previous to that also, um, the tracks here basically, I've already done those and I'm going to show those now. And they're going to go on top. So this is the stitching sequence here that I'm going to choose for this and let me see here, let me show you exactly what I'm going to do here and I'm going to unhide anything that needs to be shifted over a little bit can be slid over and moved up like this and so this is how it's going to stitch out I'm going to go to my stitch player and let's take a look I can increase the speed by moving my little point here actually so so as it stitches out so just take a look at uh, started from the center and stitch my way outward and with this 
using the mirror merge tool is very very effective and it saves you a lot of time there's the border here so now it's going to go in and it's going to start doing my my ties so if you watch how this actually stitches so it goes in and it runs again uh, there are no trims on this particular black thread here as it stitches out everything is running uh, the needle stays on the fabric the whole time I'm going to increase the speed here as it go as it goes in again this is just to show how effective the mirror merge tool is inside your program what a time saver and last but not least the inside feel here of the the rails here and last but not least on the outside like this and this is a perfect way that you can use your mirror merge tool inside your program saves lots of time great great tool thank you for your time as always we ask that you visit us at www.willcomamerica.com thank you thanks for watching we hope you found this video to be informative Visit us at www.willcomamerica.com for more product information and to join the Willcom America community.